and let's ride, ride for pop, pop, the life for pop, pop, pop off the glock, glock, the thug in the dumb stuff, stop, 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 Hello, I am coming on to do a reading for The Collective. It is just going to be a general energy check-in, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't make something for your situation if it doesn't fit or does not make sense for you. Okay, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm just going to shuffle and then I'll pull the energy around the reading and pull the reading, okay? Okay, Spirit, what is the energy around this reading, please? What's the energy around this reading, please? Okay, there could be, um... Could be somebody that you were connected to in some sort of relationship that is wanting to have maybe forgiveness in a situation. Um, maybe there's like resentment that's blocking the ability to forgive a situation. But this could be affecting different uh, areas of your life where you're trying to have some sort of flow. Maybe this is affecting the person that wants... Um, that wants forgiveness. Maybe this is why they want forgiveness is there's areas of their life that are blocked where there's like some sort of flow when it comes to something that they want to feel confident in or that they want to feel better about. Uh, it could be like work or a relationship or something in their life that they feel is blocked because they need forgiveness in a situation for some sort of block to be like lifted. Uh, so it could be like they're trying to feel confident in coming forward to get forgiveness in a situation. I don't necessarily know if it's for like a genuine reason, if it's just to have like some sort of area of their life be worked out in a better way, if it's not like authentically because they want a connection to be in a better place. But I'll pull more um, to see. So there could be like persistent um, co conflict or adversity. There could be a lot that's going on as far as like conflict or things that are not worked out when it comes to um, challenges that are persisting. And even though there's challenges that are persisting, there could be still wanting to have forgiveness in a situation where there's still like this dark like this, it's almost like crummy energy, uh, this like off green colors, like, uh, not, not like, um, it's like almost like dirty type of like behavior. Um, but wanting to show up maybe in this higher state of being to come in and get forgiveness in a situation but really coming at it from like a lower perspective like not coming at it from a place of doing it out of values or like not coming at it from a grounded centered space of wanting to have forgiveness for the right reasons it's almost coming at it from a, like a dirty place of wanting things to go in favor of their own priorities working out for them but appearing as if 
it's coming from a really high value type of place. Um, that's what it's going to show up like is like coming from this like high it's like a facade of coming from this high um it's like a mask or it's not it's not the true intention because what's behind it is this like scummy or crummy energy um and it's going to create challenges in your aligned path because what we have yeah grief is what comes out next so I feel like your um, best choice is to stay within your own place of forgiveness and persevere. Even though there could be conflict or adversities that are putting you in a place of grief. To continue on with your um, own kind of path or the place that you're in right now. Um, persevere through whatever conflict or challenges you may be going through. And go through the grief around trying to understand things or opportunities that are coming in that present grief or adversity because I feel like challenges are ways to learn through um, how to persevere through uh, opportunities around the mind and around like the soul's growth um, bringing you into a place that you can feel more confident in forgiving yourselves from things that you've had resentment around and releasing the um, blocks around things that are um, causing a lack of flow in different opportunities or options that you're trying to bring forward okay so i feel like that's the energy around the reading okay um so there is this like um trying to take time to yourself or Go into either meditative air, uh, states, really holding back to um, kind of find a consistency in the things you're doing um, in order to progress forward into being able to achieve different goals that you have in mind. Um, at least achieve them effectively because... I feel like there's something that you are holding, you're holding back because of t uh, something <coughs> that may have made you feel, hold on, <coughs> excuse me, that may have made you feel like you uh, either needed to walk away from a situation out of feeling imbalanced or feeling like it was um, just there was no going, there was no there was not an equal give and take in a situation. There was um, not bringing like a balance to a situation. Um, and you could have a lot of priorities that you already manage in your day to day life. And so you might be really um, spending time holding on to things that are important to you. And even keeping things really close to you right now in your own world. Um, holding back from sharing things with the outside to kind of grow into um, to kind of grow into different areas that you want to achieve progress or a forward movement in um i do feel like you're in a place overall where you're you're really happy or you're really content in your in your overall space um i think that you could be in a really you you might be in a really successful like commitment or relationship or you just are really happy with where you are like where you are with yourself or the relationship you have within um the way you see yourself you might really enjoy your own company or like a relationship you have with someone else that you feel like you can depend on i feel like um this could be a time where you're like creating Maybe from a different perspective or a higher perspective.
because uh, there could have been a lot of feeding into, or there has been, I feel like, a lot of feeding into your own sense of um, confidence around what makes you assertive or what makes you um, like the things that make you the things that make you confident and the things that make you assertive the things that bring out that fire or that passion within your own self so the things that make you uh, charismatic the things that make you charming the things that make you self-assured um, the, 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 I feel like this could have brought you to a place of being more open-minded around your own creative ideas and you could have a lot of um like if it's not like unique ways of doing um of doing whatever it is that you put out or that you work on or that you bring into the world as far as I feel like it's something uh, that has like a practicality to it. There is um, I feel like there's something that you've worked on within yourself like I said that has to do with the confidence you have within yourself that you are bringing into something you work on um that's helping your that's helping your everyday whatever you balance out in your everyday life go in your favor to where if there was like an imbalance in um if there was an imbalance in like your money or in your what you had to bring in into your world I feel like that is starting to become more balanced okay so you could be holding back um from sharing a lot of this success with uh, a, like a large group of people or this could be something that you do share but it might not be in a um a large way like you might you might have something you do but you don't share it in a like any large any large way okay so okay so I think you're just coming out of something where you you may have felt like you missed an opportunity in um maybe there was things that you had to walk away from or let go of that left you feeling really def like defeated or heartbroken or in this like lost uh energy maybe you felt really um like you put a lot of time or loyalty into a situation you maybe felt really optimistic about being really open in different situations where you put your heart into um into places that you felt confident in and like you were feeling like there was going to be success in a situation you could have ended up in places where you ended up imbalanced in different relationships um i feel like things are turning more in your favor by bringing in a really assertive type of energy even towards things that you're passionate about feeding into yourself but being really like head over heart really logic based um when it comes to solving problems being really direct in your communication uh be really open-minded but also being really um being really i i feel like based in awareness or based maybe in logic when it comes to decision making or what what is um true at least to you or your own perspective on reality is helping you bring in um could be like this really passionate time out of a time where you were going through a lot of emotions around different situations that were led by led by emotions that got you into a place of feeling stuck in grief or loss or heartache 
So I feel like you could be in this time of thinking a lot more logically around the decisions that you're making that is helping you come into a place where you feel this, you feel this like loyalty or this, um, this could be like a love maybe towards yourself or even to, towards somebody that you feel like a like-minded connection to. Um, but I feel like it's based more in, um, based more in success because of the ability to look at things with like a more clear mind or clear head rather than being stuck in a lot of emotions. Okay. So I'm going to pull an, an advice card. We see that you are on the brink of a breakthrough that you have patiently been waiting for. A situation is about to come full circle. The lessons that have been learned... Wait, full circle. The lessons have been learned. This is a win-win situation for you. Trust that we are working behind the scenes to ensure the best outcome for you. Okay. 